how do you reflect on uh, on the Edinburgh game? It seemed to be a, a step in the right direction, didn't it, for, for at least uh, the first hour of the game? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we, we spoke before the game about showing showing that fight and and the bit and, and the guys playing with a bit of freedom and I think that there was elements of that in, in all our in all our display in that sort of first uh, first hour. I felt we were we were resolute at times, you know, especially on our goal line defence. I thought we were you know, we went hard and made Edinburgh work hard in that area in that first period. Um and I think we showed glimpses with the ball that we were exciting. I think we held the gain line well, and I thought I thought some of our offloading game, which is something you know we, we've worked hard on and something that we enjoy, and and I think that um, we started to see a bit of that coming through, which I was pleased with. Um, so yeah, yeah. In, in terms of um, obviously, you know, if, if you'd the, the first hour of the game is obviously pretty good, and that's that's been the case in a lot of games this season, but. You seem to chip a lot of points in the last twenty minutes. Is have you you know got to the bottom of that? And any reason why why you think that's been a sort of um, regular trend this season? Yeah, look, I think that as obviously as you as you stated, I think that's that's you know it was definitely an issue last week and and the game previous as well. I think that um, for us, it's about playing, staying in that fight for eighty minutes. I think that what we have got is. Is you know the game pressures and and leaders as well in that area is really important that you stay in the game then and we've got some young guys obviously having opportunities and when the pressure's coming on um, in those moments you know we need to we need to be better at dealing with that and that's what we're working hard on I think you know we we're working hard on a new on a new leadership group and and I think that when you know when when we are in those big pressure deci- decisions and, and momentum sometimes goes against you how we stay in the fight and I think that that's. That's something that we need to work on. We need to improve, but you know, as I said, we're we're work in progress in that, and uh, you know, it's an area that that definitely we'll target over the next couple of games and and for the time you know over the course of this uh, the off season and uh, next season as well. Yeah, one player who's um, got better as the season has gone on is Alex Craig. Um, how how pleased have you been with that signing? And are you you know is, is he somebody that you're hoping to retain um, going into next season and beyond? Yeah, I think that he's been he's been uh, a great acquisition for us. I think you know he's a he's a no nonsense lock really, um, and it's something that we wanted. You know, he's high numbers and everything. I think that he he works extremely hard, um, hits a lot of rucks, makes his tackles. You know, he's he's um, and and of late, well, I've been impressed with him. This has been his carrying game. I think that that's something that's definitely grown in his game. We've talked, spoke, spoken to him a lot around his ability to keep gain line and go out and be in momentum when he carries and be in motion when he carries, and he's done that. And I thought, you know, the last couple of games, um, you know, he's been he's been excellent in that area. Um, and um, yeah, I thought you know the the two games, obviously the Benton where he was man of the match. I thought he was he was he was he was very very good. And this game this game as well is obviously nice for him as well to play against his uh, fellow countrymen and, and put a good performance in there. Will he be at the Scarlets next season, or is that um, you know? Too, yeah, look, I think he's part days. he's part of the squad, and then we'll uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, any injuries from uh, from the weekend? Um, not not major ones. He's actually picked up a bit of a bump, so I'm hoping that he'll be okay. Um, in terms of of uh, major injuries, no, no. I th- um, we're still nursing a few from the week before. Uh, Johan Lloyd, etc. So we'll uh, we'll see how they pan out. But um, no, I think we I think we're pretty much as we were last week. Yeah, you just mentioned, you know, um, obviously building a new leadership group. If, if you look at the last two years, you know, you, you have lost a hell of a lot of experience. I mean, who, who are the sort of younger players that, you know, are, are, are sort of standing up and talking in, in team meetings and stuff that are really sort of coming to the full off the field and, and hopefully will, will improve the team uh, moving forward? I think we have to create that as well, so It's not a case of just, just that happening overnight. And I think that, you know, we're excited about the young group coming through. Um, you know, you look at our our squad in general now. Young guys like Hemsley Mathias, obviously Ryan Elias, really stepping up as as a captain this year. Uh, over the last couple of games, um, you know, we've we've got we've got young men like Sam Costello, Joe Roberts, etc. You know, these boys are these boys are the future of the club. Um, Josh McLeod's doing a fantastic job, albeit he's he's not playing at the minute, obviously through injury, but he's he's really leading with us. 
and it's going to take time and that's the process you know i think that nothing like that especially when you lose a lot of a lot of experience in the group it takes time to to build that up um and and that's the pro- that's what we're going through at the minute and we're taking a bit of pain with it i get that but in the long term you know these guys are going to be the future of the club and i think that um you know there's some good people in there good men in there and i think for us or for myself as a coach you know i think it's important that that they support that as much as we can yeah um look, just last question for me obviously the there's going to be the the new edc competition next season obviously uh, you know you've got a got a, quite a, a special crop of under 18s players coming through do you, do you think that um edc competition will you know are, are you excited about what what can be achieved with, with quins and Flandovery in terms of maybe bridging that gap between semi pro and professional level and giving some of these younger guys you know maybe a, a higher level to play at before stepping up yeah, I think that's an important part, and obviously the the um, the purpose of the league is to do that. I think it is important that we get good alignment um, as a Scarlet region, and obviously with Kamar and Ashendovri, I think it is going to be important over the next, you know, the next couple of seasons that we have real good alignment between between both squads. Because as you said, we've got a lot of good quality kids coming through, and it's really important that they get to play in the good environments, and also that we can we can monitor monitor their their progress and have a say in what in what's going on obviously with with the likes of the Shindavri and Kamarthen coaches that we're all aligned together in in that so look all we've had a we've had a big contingent playing every week so far of the season you know Kamarthen and uh, and Shindavri have been have been supplied with good quality youngsters this year with us and and we've seen a big big you know big improvement in a lot of players you know people like Max Page play with Shindavri Jack Davis who, who before playing for before injuring himself was excellent for kind of is really pushing hard to, to be into our squad you know um, Archie Charlie Titcombe etc Sam O'Connor have been playing regularly for Kamar then so I think that um, you know we we need to play rugby these boys need to play rugby because we've got talent yes but they ultimately they need to learn the game and the more time we can get them on the track the, the better it is for us Great thanks Dwayne good luck for the weekend and uh, talk to you soon Do you have uh, just quickly for me, um, the challenge of Sharks, really. I, you know, they've got a really sort of poor away record. I think they've lost the last 11 away. Does that represent a good opportunity for your side? Um, I think the opportunity for us is is to perform at home. I think, obviously, you know, it's a big game for us at home. Um, and, you know, you look at you look at the Sharks' squad and, they, you know, they, they can put out, they can put out a, a pretty much a Springbok pack when when they want to and i think that you know with their with their the fact that they're in the semi final the week after they may want to use use this as a bit of a good hit out for the uh for the springbok boys so i think that for us you know that's a massive challenge and an exciting one i think every time a south african side comes here i think it's a massive challenge physically you got to be on your metal you got to step up and i think that um you know for that pose their challenge you look at their name names they've got on their team sheet you know, there's some star-studded names there. So, um, yeah. So we, we've we've prepped for for the best version of the Sharks. Um, and and the all honest truth is, if if they bring that best version here, then you know they're a formidable force. Uh, you know their situation in many ways, having been there before with their semi-final to look forward to. Do you think then that they'd have one eye on that come Friday? Well, look, I think that that if you know. From our perspective, I, we believe that they'll come here, um, you know, wanting to, wanting to to put a game plan together, a for us, and also maybe with, maybe with a bit of that in mind, you know, you never know how their coaches are working or how they're thinking about that. But you know, if that is the case, then I'm sure they'll come hard on this one in preparation for for next week. But I think you know they'll they'll like us want to climb up the league, um, you know, both similar in terms of points and, and position in the league. So I think that um, you know it's a it's a big game for that from the, from that perspective as well. We were just saying to Tane he wasn't going to get any uh, tips from his dad. I don't think that was ever going to happen, was it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, it's a good one actually for them for them too. I'm sure it'll be. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a great uh, great day for the family. You know, I can I can only imagine how that felt feels for both of them really. Um, you know, two Kiwis, one one in with the South African team, and and uh, obviously an adopted Welshman in Tain now um, with ourselves. So it's uh, it's it's you know it's uh, it's funny how the sport works, but I'm sure that in it so it's uh, 
it's a fantastic occasion for for the plum tree family and i know i'm sure they'll uh, go hard and then enjoy a, enjoy a beer maybe after the game together Oh, the kid you in the way to go out or game or or game of um a lot of a twister and a war and you get really on in boy to buggle or team on the mind board about a war a war a get a war a get a pale um and go for us down are a day game on the team law get a dad luis or got the um on my place if you are for the new i'm definitely not going to wait again a hundred kids that we got on the scene i can't do for no only in the iron or um or for the name and banter scene and and i'm the for no and and grieve it and go shower do you still actually not have a place i go with their game or at talk about she may dig it out there i felt good for another game no, I'm a lot out than he. Well, Garvan, I'm a lot out than he. Well, team, um, he often he often at home more well in the middle. Um, I'm a I'm a I'm a Kalaniade. They might be born on Blydney, and I'm log. I'm a lot of quite Kalim. I'm a lot of Khuray. We're a bit Khuray. We're a bit negative. Then he, I've been carried by Paul Bumoyne and a Seekal. He can perform me a day. I go in there. He won't go by wide more. Wide more than our team. Our Sharks are. I think he'd be be the be the be the North West Carlet or be the rugby or other Easterish club. Ah, and I've seen him on Twitter. I think he'll be through the many other new football leagues are 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 game of France and Canada now. Um, on in any part of time, I'm I'm a version go real or Charles Nigbo, but but Harry will be the new kid now. Um, I'm a many one game of France, I'm a many one game got four all down. Game got them got beat up. Um, I could be so bad to win a par on par on fame and then so when you could well play the rugby man. Nah, I've been a good team leaving, but um, my when rather rather than my wife film a rugby, cause she uh, cause she always so much wild for any niche about. And um, nah, my when I've been a good team leaving, she'll be on a see him a game. I I could be so bad to knock all my high paint back or all the game get a gilded.